Hostile Environment Security Consulting Special Project. Transferring Knowledge About Countering Terrorism. Stages of Terrorism. How a Normal Person Turned to Become a Terrorist. www.hostilesecurityconsulting.com Before I start talking about video topic, it would be more beneficial for everyone to understand interpretation of some terms that we read or hear daily in the media Salafi, from the word, Salaf, which is short for, Salaf is Salah, meaning, righteous, predecessors or pious, ancestors Salafi is a generic term, depicting a Sunni revivalist school of thought that takes the pious ancestors of the early period of early Islam as exemplary models consequently, Salafis seek to purge Islam of all outside influences, starting with the cultures and traditions of contemporary Muslim societies, and restore it to that of an imagined 7th century utopia, the Caliphate. The Salafi interpretation of Islam seeks a pure society that applies the Quran literally and adheres to the social practices in Islamic law, Sharia, that prevailed at the time of the Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century in Arabia. Jihadi Salafi, a militant interpretation of the Salafi school of thought that identifies violent jihad as the means to establish and revive the caliphate. Militant jihad is seen not as an option, but as a personal obligation. This obligation is elevated above other moral standards, which may be abrogated. Mujahideen, holy warriors who fight infidels as a religious duty. Takfir, the practice of declaring that an individual or a group previously considered Muslims, are in fact Kafirs, non-believers in God, an act of accusing others of disbelief, used in the context of branding. Certain persons or whole communities as unbelievers to religiously justify jihad against them. In this video I would use Chapter 2, The Stages of Youth Recruitment and Brainwashing, from Evil Maker's book, Radicalization and Terrorism in the Middle East, published October, 2017. The Stages of Youth Recruitment and Brainwashing. The first phase begins in the country of the young man to be recruited. As I wrote in Chapter 1 I will explain in details how it's working in reality at this stage, plantation of terrorist seeds, they begin with several steps, including reducing the alertness of the brain to facilitate the planting of terrorist ideology inside the brains of young people, the so-called, alpha brain wave, alpha waves, or regular waves that appear on a person when he is in a state of mental relaxation, or after being subjected to mental, reading religious books and I ask them to explain it, read long chapters of Quran, Muslims holy book, or physical fatigue, run for long distance, practice combat fighting, these waves show relaxation time, or representing the brain's tendency to reduce intellectual activity for the purpose of relaxation. Beta waves, appear on the human when the body is in a state of activity and doesn't feel tired so the brain adopts brain activity, beta, and became in a state of alertness and attention. The first method is to induce physical fatigue to increase the activity of the alpha brain wave by reducing sleeping hours, or by heavy strong sports training. This forces the brain to adopt alpha brain activity instead of beta wave. Terrorist organizations thus exploit this situation when the brain is reduced from its intellectual activity, they implant terrorist suspicions in the minds of young people, so that these suspicions become solid basics later. Islamic religious songs, psychological studies have proved that listening to the songs increases the activity of the brain, alpha, then the brain after the absence of vigilance and attention, which facilitates the entry of terrorist ideas to the minds of young people without resistance. These terrorists identify young people first, then meet them second, and then take them to the places of entertainment under their supervision, third, they engage these young people in sports that raise their physical fatigue in their camps, and then after this exercise the cruelty begins with the regular lessons and lectures they are keen on, which are in fact planting terrorist suspicions in the form of regular doses that enter the brains of young people without being rejected because of their adoption of alpha brain activity. Intellectual isolation, I will explain how the intellectual isolation begins when these doses of terrorist ideas are completed inside the minds of our youth. These terrorists groups began to protect these terrorist ideas planted in the minds of young people by isolating them intellectually. They advise and instruct their followers not to discuss these ideas with scholars because they are followers for the tyrannical regimes. Environmental isolation, after the youth will be moved far away from civilization to desert camps, this could be inside his country or to other countries to become an active member of these terrorist organizations, at this stage there are several steps to maximize full control of these young men, as follows, environmental isolation achieved when the young man are far away from his city or his country, this environment are strange for them, it does not remind him of his town, his childhood or his family. 
The second stage, the social isolation is achieved where the young man is ordered after joining the terrorist organizations to cut any kind of contacts with his family, relatives and friends. Change identity, the first thing is to change the way they dress and replace it with the Afghan dress, so that the young man forgets what he used to wear as dress style in his city or his country. Therefore, we see that Al-Qaeda and Al-Qaeda members everywhere wear the Afghan dress, which has become a symbol of jihad. In fact, the dress is just a method of brainwashing that these terrorist organizations follow. Changing the name, replacing the real name of the young man and giving him a chosen nickname, such as Abu Khalid al Anzari, Abu Muhammad al Mahagar, etc. After a while, this young man forgets his real name, and his real name will become strange for him. Even he will forget his past memories in his country, and this method is only a method of brainwashing practiced by the terrorist organizations. After the completion of all the first two stages in the country of the young man, or if he been out of his country like in Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, now the brains of our youth are fully washed and he became manageable and under control. Final step by allowing terrorists' organizations to use our youth in suicide attacks or to fight at any location, without any objection or any hesitation. My point of view about the above that the involvement in these acts as the result of the systematic process of re-upbringing of the youth, its ineffective methods of formation and high ability of persuasion, and the young man through previous mentioned stages and in accordance with the conditions and demands, the young man himself in the final outcome of this process is motivated to engage in such terrorist acts with full freedom of choice and proficiency and skill and dedication the reality of the practices of some young people involved in acts of violence and terrorism, where the process of reformation in an environment of appropriate impact, and under favorable conditions through which the elimination the minds of these young people and practice the art of forced persuasion can be able to become effective the young man is subject to obedience to the so-called prince of the group, unit commander, by choosing and the rest of the members of the terrorist group in thinking and practice, indicating that the process of reformation is based on psychological principles governing human behavior. Insulation strategy, the most important strategies used to recruit young people, what is known as the strategy of isolation and gradation of demands, adding that groups that recruit young people to acts of violence and terrorism insist on the members to adhere to the ideology of the group, to start demanding young recruits to comply, and after feeling isolated and united is ready to accept the ideas of the group without hesitation the ability of terrorist groups to reform and trim the views of new members of social isolation and support measured by the success of isolating them from their previous groups of people, as well as isolate them from other groups that differ with the group in the doctrine or thoughts, to reduce their exposure to any form of counter-influence, which may contribute to weakening their appeal to join the group, undermining any association of the new member with individuals outside the group at the same time, the group is working to tear down the links between members within the same group the scope of the relationship between the members within the larger group is usually limited to small cells with no more than two members. Ideas that the group sees as opposed to the doctrines and ideas it has been subjected to will be blamed those who dare to present any opinions, ideas and beliefs of opposition from different groups. I would like to add group involvement by renewed determination to continue the activity and pledge to keep the group and strengthen the commitment to work towards achieving its goals. I want to add that in return, the leader repeatedly asks every member in the group to show what indicates his attachment and association with the group in public, such as praise for the wisdom of its leadership and diligence in its service and the fulfillment of its obligations towards it. Each recruiter is also asked to work on the spread of the ideas of the group and all that confirms the sincerity of belonging to it. In addition to to the development of a new identity to strengthen belonging to the group, and that the group reiterates young recruits as part of the elite selected and, pointing out that to install this identity, the group to ask members to adopt what indicates to unite with some as a group, for example, wearing specific clothes or exercise a special diet terrorist groups members are always asked to launch specific slogans or chanting slogans and exaggerations, as well as giving them new names and titles, indicating they are identified with enemies from outside the group and urged them to hate and describe enemies with descriptions that reduce their status and underestimate it, and may ease their atonement and allow their killing, that such practices would support the separation of the young man from his past and the acquisition of a new identity that strengthens the membership of the current community. One of the systematic strategies used to attract and recruit young people is helping to get into the trap. 
the new members initially agree to meet small demands, such as reading the group's publications or spending the weekend outside the house with the group, adding that responding to this call is a key to further compliance, and in the event of a response, the members show a warm welcome to young recruiters. I would like to point that they appear to indicate the desire to further contact with the group, and then called the new recruits to spend a week with the group, and while continuing to respond to the escalation of demands, the young man to attend lectures weekly, and then demands him to attend advanced seminars, it is a matter for the group to pay the new recruit to commit to actions in which the group achieves its objectives it may be motivated to come up with something that seems difficult to implement at first, such as cooperating with other members in planning an attack on a facility. I would like to explain that the response facilitates the acceptance of more difficult acts, such as committing the next time to participate in the abduction of a person wanted by the group. In later periods, after the risk continues, the practice is facilitated by committing a scapegoat by committing a suicide attack, adding that falling into traps and the impact of work is a mechanism of persuasion known as put foot to stop closing the door technique. The attempts of terrorist groups to employ the technique of putting the foot in the door effectively resulted in the involvement of many young people in the acts of extremism, violence and terrorism against themselves and their citizens and their countries. He added that the strategies of recruitment are completed by a strong objection to accepting any information, the new ideas, once the group has achieved inculcation of the beliefs and ideas of the group of those who are recruited, and make sure his faith in their beliefs deliberately restrict his acceptance of the ideas may be presented to him and other beliefs. In some cases the group usually faces a mockery of any of its members expressing doubts about the truth of the beliefs, ideas and opinions of the group, and if the new member is involved in any attempt to criticize the ideas that knocks and wails and reprimand, the group may go beyond reprimand to discipline by denying reward and punishment to violation of ignorance and imprisonment, and rooting feelings of hatred and hatred for everything that is different with the community, the group tends to repeatedly describe those who are outside the group by deviation and misguidance those groups always insist on interpreting any resentment and resentment by the innovator that it is due to a lack of understanding and belief in the integrity of the message of the group, and therefore need to re-up, indicating that he is subject to a process of intensive re-education individually under strict control. Most of those involved in suicide operations in different parts of the world are people in a transitional age between adolescence and adulthood, which was clearly observed in Al-Qaeda and ISIS recent terrorist attacks to ensure that overcome the will of life and to send a strong will to death, each young man is obliged to commit himself publicly, by writing a written farewell letter or declaring his commitment directly to be published in social media, this happens with a psychological commitment that there is no choice but to take a step back from the determination and committed to make it public, especially especially since recruitment is often in the context of the relative isolation of small cells see themselves perfection next video we will take the Muslim Brotherhood brainwashing methods as a practical example to verify how the previous stages executed and its effects on the mind of young generations Muslim Brotherhood group is the mother of all terrorist groups existing in our world we will come to that issue in our coming videos by Sharif Omar Hostile Environment Security Consulting Project Transferring Knowledge About Countering Terrorism www.hostelsecurityconsulting.com